Hello YouTubers, welcome to my YouTube channel, Prima Donna Cooks. Today I'm going to be cooking my Millionaire's Mac and Cheese from out of the Prima Donna's Recipe Bible. You can buy that at PrimaDonnaSeasoning.com. Make sure you guys do have the book so you can follow along with the actual recipe. And we're going to go ahead and be making the Millionaire's Mac and Cheese. Okay, you guys, so first. All right, guys, so you want to go ahead and grate your cheese. To find out what type of cheese this is, you guys, make sure you go get the Prima Donna recipe book. We're following along with the Prima Donna recipe book, and you guys will know exactly what type of cheese this is that should be grated and shredded. So, you guys, you just simply grate your cheese up. Add this in the beginning. I'm using a small grater. I like mine's finely shredded. You can do it however you like. The only reason why I'm shredding mine so thin is because I've already made a cheese sauce and I don't want too, too, too much cheese, but I do want a lot of cheese. So, yeah. Lock First, we're going to get our water nice and hot, get it boiling. Make sure you have it at a very hot temperature. Let it boil for around five minutes before you actually throw your noodles in there because we do not want any soggy mac and cheese, okay? All right, my water, as you can see, is boiling. You should throw your noodles in there once you see the water boiling like this. Okay, you guys, now that, can you see the noodle? Okay, now that your water is bubbling, do you see the water bubbling? Okay, now that your water is bubbling, everybody, you're going to take your noodles and pour them in. Pour the noodles in the water. Cook the noodles until they're tender. You can actually get a fork, pull a couple out, taste them, and as long as they're tender enough for your desire, that's fine. Now... We're going to go over here and we're going to start our cheese sauce, okay? Now, cheese sauce is one of my favorite things. This is one of my little secret ingredients. So, first of all, you're going to put your milk, you're going to add your cream, and you're going to add your cheese to find out exactly what type of cheese. Please refer to the recipe. And also, for the measurements of how much of milk, how much of cheese, please refer to the recipe that's in the book. Once again, you're going to go ahead and add your, give me the cheese. You're going to go ahead and add your milk. You're going to, you're going to go ahead and add your cheese. Go ahead and pour it in there. Pour the cheese in there. Exactly. Drop it all in there. Don't be afraid. And you're going to go ahead and stir that together. Allow that on a medium high temperature to go ahead and simmer. Stir it all together really good. I have the milk in here, I have the cheese, and I have some cream. Um, refer to the recipe so you can have the correct measurements and you guys will be fine. So we're going to stir this, allow that to cook for 10 minutes. 10 minutes you want to stir it really good until you get a cream fixture it's almost going to look like either cream corn cream cheese but it's going to be a sauce you can cook it to however long you like i say 10 minutes and you should be fine make sure you do have it on a medium a medium low heat y'all so your noodles are done cooking once you see like this oh jesus i gotta get my grandma all right you guys y'all know what i mean so your noodles are done cooking once you see the noodles looking like this you want to go ahead drain all of the excess water off of and the liquid off of your noodles okay so i want you guys to look at the sauce it's really creamy now it's really creamy and that's exactly 
where we wanted it to be and how we wanted it to be. Very creamy. So we're going to go ahead and take this off. Cut this off. Okay, you guys. So now we're going to go ahead. Go ahead and cheese that thing. We're basically layering like a cake. Kind of like a, a lasagna if you ask me. <laughs> so you want to layer it. Make sure you give it a smooth top. You want to make sure it has a smooth top to it so it's extra, extra cheesy. We're going to go ahead, take the eggs that we had, and we're, we're going to go ahead and add it to our cheese sauce. You can just go ahead and stir that together. Mix it really good. Mix it really good. And like I said, it should look like cream cheese and so on and so forth. Back up, make sure you have space. Thank you. And now we're going to go ahead and we are going to pour this. Like I said, this is for an extra cheesy mac and cheese. Get in there. So this would be so cheesy. Mm, 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 mm. Make sure you guys refer to your recipe to make sure you guys are using the correct amounts and so forth, okay? Very cheesy. So, as you can see, I like my mac and cheese real cheesy. I'm going to stir it up to make sure that all that, mm, all that cheese and that flavor, girl, is just getting in there. Like I said, this is for an extra cheesy mac and cheese. Some people prefer less cheese. That's fine with you, with your dry ass mac and cheese. I don't. All right, so we're going to go ahead and layer that thing. We're going to add some more. We're going to add the rest, actually. Get all those noodles up and down. You know, mac and cheese can be very messy, depending on who's making <laughs> the cleanup and all that good stuff. But it's worth the taste. So that's pepper, the prima donna paprika, and a dash of salt. Just like a pinch of it, you guys. I just added in here because I'm teaching you, and you're gonna go ahead. Pour that over your mac and cheese because you ain't gonna have no flavor without it. Period. So you're gonna need to throw that. Now we're about to go ahead and we're gonna layer the top of the mac and cheese. Now, we have a little bit more of the cheese sauce because I've been cooking and doing extra things. It's gotten a little thicker. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the remainder of the cheese sauce to this. Make sure you get it all out of the pan. Even scrape up the, the burnt and all that good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scrape this. I'm going to scrape it. I like all the cheese. And we're going to add that. Now keep in mind, you just added your seasonings. So you want to stir through there to make sure it's all through there. It doesn't mess up your layer. It just makes sure that you get your flavor through. And again, once you're finished, you can go ahead and Garnish it at the top with whatever you like. Your butter is somewhere in there lost. It's actually probably melted because the noodles were hot. So, and if you can see, it's cheesy all up through that thing. Cause one thing I hate some dry ass macaroni. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add the remainder layer of our cheese to the top. Get your hands, use your hands, clean your hands, wash your hands. Use gloves if you're preparing for somebody else. Whatever you got to do. Go ahead and we're going to add that to the top. And that thing ready to shake and bake. See you guys in a minute. Go ahead and stick it in the oven. Preheat your oven. You should have preheated your oven already. Um, the instructions are, are in the book as well. So please follow your recipe for times and instructions. 
just giving you guys a manual view. Now we're going to go ahead and place it in the oven. Let that thing bake. And see you in a minute. All right, y'all. So I have a saying that if that mac and cheese don't bubble, you in trouble. And all my nieces know that saying. <laughs> all right, you guys. So... Your mac and cheese should be looking like this right about now. Mm. Alright you guys, so once you take it out, whoo, look at 